When we're the woman working among men, especially if we're in a very male-dominated role, there will be comments. Most won't rise to the level of sexual harassment or discrimination. They're even hard to characterize as inappropriate. We just know that they're intended to tear us down a bit. Now it's difficult to know how to respond to these comments because we don't want to overreact and damage our career. So what do we do? The most common advice tells us we need to pick our battles, leading us to believe we should just let it go. No, letting comments go will just invite more comments. So we need a way to stand up for ourselves that gets our point across without alienating our male colleagues or damaging our careers. Or better yet, a response that improves our relationships and also earns us a bit of respect. If you pay attention to your male colleagues, you see how they like to joke around, banter, and tease each other. And they can have this back and forth interaction without creating conflict or hurting each other's feelings. This is what we'll draw upon when we respond to the comment. We'll have a sense of humor. We're women. We know how to laugh at all the things men do. We're also creative, so we can come up with a response that shows we're not easily insulted, and we can joke around as well as any guy. So here's an example of an actual comment I heard and the creative way I poked back. I was a project manager working in the construction site office, and I kept hearing the comment, She wears high heels. That's a strange comment, but I knew it was a put down because it implied that I was too feminine to belong out on the construction site. After all, as the guys like to remind me, construction sites are for manly men. However, the comment didn't even make sense because our office was an old townhouse and there was carpeting on the floor. It was no different than working in the main office. So I thought about the shoes I wore. Now to me, these aren't high heels, but I get it. To some guys, this is pretty big. However, to me, these are just office shoes and if I went out on site, I changed into my sight shoes. One day while working my office, I overheard the brand new PM who they hired to once again prove that men run construction sites better, talking about me. Then I heard him say in a low voice, she wears high heels. Okay, time to fix this misconception. So the next time I went home, I brought back a pair of high heels, nothing sexy, just the pair that I wore with a business suit when I gave presentations to clients. When I got to my office, I took one of each of the three pairs, set them on my desk, and hung a sign that said, Sight shoe, office shoe, high heels. That got the discussion going. All day long, the guys were in and out of my office, talking amongst themselves, not only about my shoes, but the kind of shoes they like us to wear for different occasions and various activities. I learned a lot about the male perspective on women's shoes. I also learned that what I called high heels were okay for work, but definitely not sexy enough to qualify as date shoes. I informed them that, oh, I have date shoes, but not for any of them. These are the only shoes they get to see me wear. From all of their discussion, I am pleased to confirm that I wasn't being too feminine in the office and damaging my career. Actually, after that day, these guys and I built great relationships and we had so much fun on that project. And since I was senior to all of them, I could mentor them without insulting their manly pride. And as for the comment that I wore high heels to the office, that was corrected. The guys determined that I wear ugly shoes to the office. Watch these videos so you remember to laugh with the guys, laugh at the guys, and have fun with the guys. This is Doc Callahan asking you to help me turn the woman in the room into the women in the room. Sign up for my newsletter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or follow the woman in the room on social media. It's up to you. Just keep watching and sharing my videos to get advice from a woman who's been there, dealt with that, and knows what works.